Diabetes is a disease that causes blood sugar levels to become too high. Symptoms include excessive thirst, nausea, fatigue, sugary urination, and weight loss. If left untreated, diabetes can lead to strokes, kidney failure, heart attacks, and nerve damage. The disease has plagued humanity for thousands of years, but until a century ago, there were no effective treatments. Enter Frederick Banting and Charles Best. Frederick Banting was born in 1891 in rural Ontario. After fighting in World War I for the Canadian Army, Banting returned home a decorated veteran and started his career in medicine. In 1921, he began lecturing in pharmacology at the University of Toronto, where he became interested in diabetes. Scientists already knew that diabetes was caused by a lack of insulin, but previous attempts to isolate the hormone had failed because a digestive enzyme in the pancreas broke down the insulin before the latter could be extracted. Assisted by Charles Best, a Maine native and fellow veteran, Banting set out to destroy the enzymes while preserving the insulin-producing cells. Using this technique, the two men isolated insulin from their test dog's pancreases. After injecting the insulin into dogs suffering from artificially induced diabetes, the animals quickly recovered. In January 1922, the two researchers administered purified insulin to their first patient, a 14-year-old diabetic close to death. The treatment was a success and the use of insulin to treat diabetes quickly spread throughout the world. Banting was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine and split the prize money with Best. Thanks to Banting and Best, diabetes went from an untreatable condition that killed untold millions to an easily treatable disease, thus enabling diabetics to lead normal, healthy lives. For those reasons, Frederick Banting and Charles Best are our 24th Heroes of Progress.